You break a five? You break a five? Change? Uh, sir? Uh, yes. Maybe the office can. There you go. Thank you. One for you. Thank you. <laughs> Stinky in here. You smell it? That's not the way it used to be. Well, when it's always wet, it's not the way it used to be. water pumps that come in filtered and then when everything is demanded let's say uh, rain X it shoots high pressure water through this manifold and it sucks it through here and there's a tip that changes the ratio of water to chemical so this is obviously a super concentrate smaller chemicals that come in boxes now instead of huge heavy barrels which well, is really nice easy to deal with yeah i mean I, the, the back aches alone of flipping those barrels around yep i'm sure they've had customers for decades say can't you do it different yeah of course yeah then this is a reverse osmosis system i just put in all it is pretty much is a high pressure water filtration system so instead of just natural flow of water going through a, a filter it injects the water through a series of four high micron filters big booster pump to push it through it goes about 250 psi instead of 40 is your you know all standard water temp right for pressure yep so then it all goes into a big holding tank where the water we generated and instead of your tap water is about 250 parts per million is two. So it's almost pure water. Almost no solids, gets a nice clean. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you know, even if you got water droplets, there's no minerals in them, they're gonna dry perfect. Yeah. So that works good. Now I'm just cleaning out the containers. The chemicals are kept being pretty impressive. Yeah. What are you Thank you. Oh, of course. Yeah, this is just a chemical that go back to me. So they call these hydrominders. So it's just using standard water pressure. And you know, it's, it's just like a toilet, a float valve in there. So when it gets low, 
it clicks down, demands water, and then it, it's got a siphoning system, so it sucks the chemical up the tube, and then you got the tips to change your ratio of chemical to water. So it, you can really dial it down. What's crazy is that the temp changes 10 degrees, how things, everything needs to change. Wow, really? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, especially going from winter to summer, there's just still all the minerals and crap on the road, and salty and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a, it turns into a film that you gotta cut. You gotta go high alkaline instead of acidity. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta change the whole system of the wash. You start with alkaline, and then you finish with acid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, finally, green and old plumbing. We're great. <laughs> great. I got a little carried away. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I like solid lines. I just made a little stainless steel. Yeah. For the, yeah. Oh. That's a prep station.